Hello and welcome to this session in which we are going to talk about the steps needed to create a purchase requisition and subsequently we look at how we could view the, the entries that we have made in the purchase requisition. What you see on the screen now is an SAP screen which shows favorites over here and then we'll be using these keys that you find over there um, these options that you see on the toolbar over here and then we'll lo be looking at some of the options here typically we're going to look at uh, purchase creating purchase requisitions and purchase requisitions would fall under the category of logistics under SAP menu so we have the SAP menu here under that you see logistics so these arrows indicate that there is something more below this particular tree so I click on that tree and you should see a whole list of options available under them now this is the way I would browse now my our intention in this session is to create a purchase requisition and then to view that purchase requisition a purchase requisition would fall under materials management so let us look at the purchase requisition option here under materials management so we have purchasing, inventory, management, excise duty, etc. etc. here. So we are concerned about purchasing. So let's let me click on this to bring up purchase requisition and uh, related stuff. So we have the purchasing order here and then the purchase requisition. Let me click on that purchase requisition to see the tree underneath it. So these are the options I'm seeing. If you look at uh, these uh, terms ME51N label these are the ones that we refer to as a T code or a transaction code. So ME51N is a transaction code which is equivalent to creating a purchase requisition. Likewise, ME53N is a transaction code in SAP environment that refers to displaying a purchase requisition. So let us try to create a new purchase requisition for our demonstration purposes so this is the one this is the option that I need to select now create so let me click let me double click on this to bring up the purchase requisition screen yeah there you have the purchase requisition screen so the purchase requisition has a purchase number and then it has got the items that are listed out in that purchase requisition. A purchase requisition gets its number but that number is generated by the system in this case by SAP. So what we need to do at this time is to just enter the items that should go into a new purchase requisition. So let me enter an item here so anytime you see an icon here by the side you click on that to see the list of materials that are available or that for on which we could uh, raise a purchase requisition so I can say plant material by description and there are so many other uh, options available for me so I can as well say search They should bring up a whole list of items that are already pre-configured for this particular installation of SAP so these remember that whatever items I see here these are the only items for which I could make a requisition in this particular case so let me pick let me pick the item number here which is the material 1700 I really don't know what that item means but uh, for our demonstration purposes it uh, really does not uh, matter as to what it is so note that this material 1700 has got a material description which is material for 
third party probably so let us check that and then uh, and this goes into plant zero 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 one plant zero 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 one could use uh, this could raise a purchase requisition for this item one seven zero zero so I'll exit the search So I'll enter material one seven zero zero one seven zero zero and then I enter the item as let's say ten I ten quantities and then I had to enter the plant one two three four and I hit the enter key here System is working now. It says uh, material one seven zero zero mainly procured internally. Please check your input. There's a warning message which says that it's being procured internally. So check your input. So I could as ignore this message and say, okay, go ahead and then do it. So these were the warning messages. Anything that you find is warning, you could still allow the uh, force the system to accept that. So in this case. Uh, let us uh, force the system to accept that so I'll just say save and then I should get a purchase requisition number yeah voila there you go so you see a uh, you see a purchase requisition number there which says that purchase requisition is 00100158288 so note that this is created for uh, a material number 1700 and in the units of 10 units and then the material group is steels and uh, work is for plant 0001 so I click on OK now I am done with uh, creating a purchase requisition note that this, la this display line here shows that purchase requisition number uh, 00100158288 has been created so this purchase requisition has been entered into the system now now let us go to the option which says I could uh, view this uh, purchase requisition to make sure that it has uh, gone into the system so let me go back here this is the back key here now I will I'll read out the purchase requisition now instead of create let me check the option here the transaction code ME53N which stands for display so if I click on this display our intention here to make sure or to ensure that or to see the results of uh, whatever action we did earlier that is we want to check if that item has uh, gone in there yes there it is by default it is showing the uh, last purchase requisition that I as a user did if I want to see some other purchase requisitions I could as well do that now there are a couple of other transactions that I created uh, prior to this and one of them has a PR number that I've noted down here so let us look at that particular PR number to make sure that it is still there and then we come back and then look at this uh, PR or the purchase requisition so let me go to display other let me go to other purchase requisitions so I want to see the details of some of the purchase requisition that I've already created so I get purchase requisition now I say I can enter the value here so 1001 these are other purchase requisition that I created so I just hit and enter after I have given the value for the purchase requisition now I should be seeing a screen there you see the screen now this the details for the purchase requisition 1005817 which incidentally I had created earlier is shown in this particular line so note that I could have more than one item for a purchase requisition in which case I would have got all these items listed one below the other and I would have to scroll down to see 
if there are more items than what can be fitted on the screen. So for each of these th items that are listed here, I would see the details uh, if I have uh, entered any of them in terms of the item description and in terms of other information about that particular uh, material. Now let us go back and then uh, look uh, look at the purchase equation that we created just some time back to see if it's uh, still there. Okay, now the way I would do that is uh, I cannot change the purchase requisition here. So the only way I can do it is I go to other purchase requisitions and enter the value of the purchase requisition to bring up its uh, details. So one eight one eight one five eight two eight is the purchase requisition that we did just now for the plant zero 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 one. So I've done that. Now I'll hit enter. Now the screen should show me the details for purchase requisition that I created just some time back. Yeah, there we have it. Material for third party and then steels. Note that the information about the material group, etc., etc., was um, entered by the system by pulling out the details from its database. For example, I just entered the material uh, material code here, and I got the sh short text which says "material for third party" and uh, the unit, etc., were displayed in the purchase group. These were the information that were uh, displayed automatically. So this is the way you could uh, enter purchase requisitions. So to summarize what we have seen in this video are steps to uh, look at the option for purchase requisition which comes under materials management which in turn is under uh, logistics. And then we saw how to create a purchase requisition and then we went to the option of saying uh, we looked at the steps for viewing purchase requisition details. Uh, either the purchase requisition that was already entered or the details of the purchase requisition that we enter in this particular session. So with this we conclude this short video which explains about purchase requisitions in brief. So let me exit out of the system. So I go to system and then exit. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.